I got this lovely piece of 2012 Ford Edge in here. Um, I've been looking around on Google because of this problem. I haven't found anything. The pedal goes down about halfway. The pedal height's kind of messed up. And I can... I don't, I don't know if you can hear that or not. But it's making a funny noise. When I, when I hit the pedal, it kind of sounds like... It kind of sounds like fluids just passing through the master cylinder. I bled the brakes. I, I got all brand new clean fluid in here. And um, the brake pedal height still sucks. So I'm going to put a master cylinder in this. Hopefully it'll fix it. Well, this car is fixed. I put a master cylinder in it. It did not fix the problem. And after it didn't, I actually pulled some codes on this. And it pulled a code for a rear wheel speed sensor but there was no ABS light nobody said it came on and turned off um, I cleared the codes I had a spongy pedal I went down the road and um, I grenaded the brakes a couple of times to activate the ABS and it didn't really do anything in drive and I put it in reverse and I activated the ABS a couple of times and the pedal came right up and it fixed the spongy pedal so if you got that problem, don't go putting a master cylinder in it. Um, I did this job, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put a video on it anyways, just in case you need to replace this master cylinder for whatever reason. You're gonna know how, but if you got a spongy pedal, I would I would really try to put this thing in reverse and activate the ABS. You do about 10, 15 miles an hour and just grenade the brakes and, and make sure the ABS is activated. You'll hear it, you'll feel it in the pedal. It'll start moaning and making funny noises. And if you're lucky, this pedal will come right up. Um, I didn't find any brake leaks or anything in this either, but now they got a new master cylinder and all new clean fluid. And Well, I threw a part at it and um, sometimes that's just what I do. So it's fixed anyways. Okay, bye.